Next is a class from the Chaitanya Charitamrita, given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded in December of 1966 in New York. Eti Tamsukala Pumsakrasnatu Bhagavan Sayam Indrani Bhaklam Lokam Mrayanti Jigari Jnana Yoga Bhakti Team Sadhana Bhase Brahma Atma Bhagavan to be the Prakash. So the absolute truth is manifested according <coughs> to the vision of the seer. The absolute truth is one without second. But according to the capacity of the seer, the absolute truth is manifested either as Brahma, impersonal Brahma, or localized Paramatma, or the Supreme Personality of God. So this point we have discussed. So Lord Chaitanya is giving one evidence from Srimad Bhagavatam Vadanti tat tat tabidas tatyam yad jnana madhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhavaniti sadhat. And in Srimad Bhagavatam it is said that the absolute truth is one without any duality. He is simply named in different ways. And what are the different names? Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. <coughs> Brahma Anga Kanti Tar Nidvises Prakashi Shudju Jano Charma Chakhe Jyotin Maya Bhashi. Lord Chaitanya says the conception of Brahma is that it is the rays of the body of Krishna. Just like the sunshine is the rays of the body of the sun disk. Similarly, Brahma Anga Kantita Nirdishes Prakash. And in that uh, Brahma Jyoti or rays, uh, there is no variegatedness. Just like if you fall of a certain sea to the sun, you don't find any variegatedness in the sky. Uh, it appears just like only dazzling if all but uh, when the sunlight is not there, we can see millions and millions of stars in the firmament. So in the Upanishad also, uh, it is prayed that, my Lord, you kindly uh, uh, move this curtain of glaring effulgence so that I can actually see you. So one who is dazzled by this glaring effulgence of the rays of Krishna, they can realize the Supreme Lord or the Supreme Absolute Truth as impersonal. Shudya jano charma chakhe jatidmaya bhasya. Charma chakhe with our present eyes, uh, defective, or our senses are defective. Uh, we are very much proud of our eyes. I want to see personally. But we do not know that these eyes or any sense, they are all defective. They are not perfect. Uh, uh, just like in the glare of the sun sign, uh, we see nothing. We see sometimes darkness. So we cannot believe these eyes or senses. We have to take information of perfect knowledge from the authorities. That is the basic way. So those who want to see God or the Supreme Absolute Truth by the uh, agency of their imperfect senses, they say that God is impartial. Uh, very imperfect, that is a realization of the imperfect senses. <clears throat> the perfectly, the perfectly vision, perfect vision of the Supreme Lord is a person. 
just like nobody can enter into the sun disk. And they can say from distant place, oh, there is nothing, it is simply fire. But from the scripture we understand, no, that is a planet. And uh, as in this planet we have got so many variegatedness, similarly in that planet also there are, in every planet. Uh, there is no reason to disbelief that in, in, the, in other planets there is no life, there is no variegatedness. No, according to Vedic literature it is not accepted. In each and every planet there is a variegatedness as we find in this planet. The difference is that in some of the planets uh, earthly matter is prominent, some of the planets fiery uh, elements are prominent. So in the sun, sun planet fiery elements is very prominent. Uh, they are the living entities and everything. They are made of fire. Uh, so <coughs> he is giving another evidence from Brahma Sangita. Yasya prabha prabhato jagadanna kūti kūtiśya sesa vasudhādi vibhūti ginyam tad brahma niskalam anantam asesa bhūtam gūrinnavādi purusam tamaham vajam. I worship the primal Lord, Govinda, whose bodily effulgence is Brahma Jyoti. And the Brahma Jyoti that is nothing but his bodily effulgence. Oh. And in that Brahma Jyoti, the Saprabha Prabhupada Jagadanda Koti, uh, uh, or that Brahma Jyoti being manifested, <coughs> there are innumerable planets and universes oh, there are. The same example just like in the sun, sun sign, there are innumerable planets. Uh, so similarly, in the original sign, Krishna sign, this is uh, sun sign, the original sign is Krishna shining. In that effulgence, there are innumerable vacant planets, spiritual planets. Ikaṁ sīna situ jagat. In the Bhagavad-gītā you will find all these planetary manifestations is situated in one-fourth of his effulgence. Three-fourths of the manifestation are in the spiritual sky. Tad-dhamma-niskala-mananta-asesa-bhūtam. Asesa-bhūtam. It is so much extended that nobody can calculate how far. We cannot calculate even the sun sign, how far it is extended, and what to speak of that original effulgence. So our knowledge is always imperfect. Uh, we cannot study even uh, millions and millions part of the uh, opulence of the Supreme Law. So it is futile to deny God because we cannot calculate is potencies and expansion of potencies. Paramatma jeho teho Krishna at angsha atman atmahan Krishna avat angsha. Now, this localized aspect of Paramatma in individual soul living is called Paramatma. So, that Paramatma, super soul, is also a part representation. Uh, the, the body of Krishna is Satchidananda Vigra, Satchit Ananda. Three, three uh, spiritual divisions. Uh, not division actually, they are one, but for our understanding we uh, analyze in that way. Satchit Ananda. Sat, Sat means eternity. Brahma realization, impersonal Brahma realization is realization of eternity. Paramatma realization means eternity and knowledge. And Bhagavan realization means full realization, eternity, knowledge and bliss. Ah. Ah. Simple eternal realization is without uh, factual knowledge and 
without bliss, uh, impersonal. The impersonalist, they cannot enjoy the transcendental bliss. Uh, they simply stay as eternal, that's all. Shantaras, it is called Shantaras. Uh, uh, peaceful Shantaras. There is no exchange. And, and further development is Dasaras. And further development is uh, Shatkaras. And further development is uh, hmm, Basalaras. And further and ultimate development is Madhujaras. So in the spiritual atmosphere there are different degrees of realization. So this Brahma realization is the first step and the Paramatma realization is the second step and Bhagavan realization, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, that is the ultimate stage. Uh, he is giving some evidences from Simad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita also. Krishnam Hiram Abhihi Tam Atmanam Akilam Atma Atmanam Jagad Vitaya Jo Api Astra Dehi Bhavati Maya. Uh, now, in Simad Bhagavatam, uh, some uh, advanced devotee is indicating Krishna. Krishna inam avehi. Uh, this Krishna, when Krishna was present in person, uh, many persons studied him in a different way. But uh, one of them, who is pure devotee, he is describing about Krishna that inam, this Krishna, this Krishna, Krishna Mainam Abhihi, you, you should try to understand what is that? Tam Atmanam Akhilatmanam. Atmanam Akhilatmanam. Atma means the self or soul. So we individual soul, uh, we are part and parcel, fragmental part and parcel of the Supreme. Uh, therefore, Krishna is to be understood as the source of all individual self. Akhila Atman. Akhila means all. Then Jagad Bhītāya, now he has come, he has descended out of his causeless mercy, Jagad Bhītāya, for the benefit of this world, this planet. Dehiva uh, Abhāti, just like he appears ordinary uh, person, Abhāti Mayaya. Maya, this Maya is not delusion. This Maya means by his uh, internal potency. By his internal potency he can appear uh, just like us, but he uh, is not uh, like uh, us. He is the Supreme Personality of God. Athva bahunaintena kingatena tabajna vishtabhyam vishtabhya Aham idam krishnam ikansina situ jaga. Now, the Lord says, Krishna says, when Arjuna asked him, uh, Krishna, will you uh, describe something about your uh, different potencies by which you are working in this material world? Uh, then Krishna described so many things out of that one verse is that Athava Bhunaitina Kingatina Kabajana. My dear Rajan, I have described in that cell many of my potencies displaying in this manifested world. But you can understand one thing that by one part by manifestation of one of my part, I, am, I have entered uh, all the universe and all the hearts of living entities. Uh-huh.